Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. In these tough economic times, more and more families are doing whatever it takes to make ends meet. And sometimes it means moving in with other family members. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. A survey by the online magazine Grandparents.com finds three-fifths of grandparents are now providing some sort of financial assistance to their grown children. And that, increasingly, is in the form of multi-generational living. We met up with one family conducting its own crowded house experiment. Lois and Derek Lug have always been close to their grandchildren. May I have a kiss, please? But never this close. This summer, the Lugs went from living down the street from their grandkids to living down the hall. I don't know, it's just weird that they live next door, just like in the same house. In June, they moved in with their daughter, Victoria, a manager at a local telephone company, and her husband, Jason, a stay-at-home dad. They now split the rent of this four-bedroom rental home with an in-law wing. It was like a step backwards almost. But financially, it was a step forward. By splitting their rent, each couple is saving $200 a month. Plus, there is extra savings on monthly bills. Our electric bill is uh, $80 for this month. And uh, previously, I think they paid about $60, and we paid about $90. That translates to each couple saving an additional $150 a month on utilities and cable. Don't miss the water. Besides the extra cash, there is some unexpected bonuses. They always have laundry all over the darn house. Unbelievable piles of laundry. I said, listen, why don't I take over the laundry? And that's what I did, and that's my contribution. Father and son-in-law have grown closer since sharing a workspace in the garage and taking turns watching the kids while their wives are working. We're obviously too, quite separated by age and uh, you know, personalities, you know, but got to kind of learn to live with it, you know. It's just, uh, you have to give and take a bit there. The men also do the grocery shopping and cooking, with two couples splitting costs, with Victoria and Jason putting in a little extra to cover the kids. Dad, this is so good. Overall, each side is saving three to four hundred dollars a month, money that will go toward buying a house if this little experiment works out. Well, it's just like a win-win situation all around. Saving money is one thing, but Lois, Victoria, and their husbands went into this experiment with their eyes open before committing 100%. They want to make sure this living arrangement can work out. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Hotline 228-1850. Or, of course, if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan. Eyewitness News. In consumer news